Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today I'm here to film my Polish Media Expo haul. These are the items that I purchased from the Polish Media Expo that took place in Tinley Park, Illinois. I have my office window open and I probably need to shut it, don't I? That's really unfortunate because it is completely gorgeous today. Okay, I left it correct a little bit. I need some fresh air smell coming in here. This is what I bought. Uh, this is technically more than I plan to buy, but every year I go and I'm like, I don't really need to buy anything. I'm not gonna buy that much. That's a stupid plan. Bought a certain amount of cash and I spent that, so that's fine. The first brand that I purchased from was Victorian Varnish. I had just finished all of my like press videos that I wanted to take um, as the doors were opening and I was right by their booth and I, and I thought, well, this is perfect. I'll just get in line here and, and not go back to the front of the shopping area. Why would I do that? I am new to Victorian Varnish, but I really love their polishes. So I was very excited to see what they had to offer. I could have purchased probably one of every color. They were all beautiful. I definitely didn't do that. They have some acetone additives. Theirs are called tinctures, which I really enjoy. This is apple blossom and rose and I haven't opened it yet. Let me open it. Also, obviously, maybe not obviously, I have not swatched anything yet. Last year, I did videos with swatches featuring all of the brands that I purchased, so individual videos. I really enjoyed that format. It made it a little less overwhelming for me. It made it um, easy to organize and, and not just, you know, piles of, you know, I mean, it is piles of nail polish, but it just made it easier for me. So I'm going to be doing that again this year. Um, I think this is the cutest little bottle ever, by the way. Ooh, that smells really good. I've used lots of acetone activists, but never from their brand. And I really liked this scent combination. That was the first thing I grabbed. And then I knew I wanted Red Hot Flamingo because I mean, look at it. It is neon red and I don't have a neon red. I don't have Cirque Pyro. And that's the only one I can ever think of when I want a neon red. My China Glaze Ready to Rave would be the next one that I have. I don't know if it's faded or it's just not as bright as I remember. But I saw this, I saw several swatches of it, and I knew this was going to be mine. It was so nice to meet Tammy. She's precious, like the cutest Southern lady you ever did want to meet. And then the other is called Molten Centrifuge, and this is a magnetic, and I'm not normally big on magnetics, but this color without any magnet applied to it is beautiful. It looks very bronze on camera, but it's very green gold with a bronze shift in person. So magnetized. This color looks like it looks very swampy in person. It looks very like cat's eye, like jasper color here. Next, I wanted to hit the KB Shimmer booth because I love KB Shimmer. Um, and I also needed a bag to carry all of my purchases because I normally wear like a, a backpack in and every year there's just so many people in there and I get like stress, nerves, talking to people and um, I just sweat. I'm just sweaty all the time. If I met you, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm so sweaty. Shoving 20 pounds of nail polish on your back like doesn't help. So I didn't bring a backpack this year. Also, I didn't want to buy as much. I don't really know if that worked. Um, but KB Shimmer was giving out a drawstring bag with every purchase. They gave these out last year. These are the coolest. Like, I need a bag and I need to shop from KB Shimmer. And I purchased two of their event exclusives. We have What the L. It's like the L trim. It's like a mint, pale minty green with a golden and green shifty shimmer. Looks magical. And then the other was out of cone troll. All four of their exclusives were inspired by the, I think it's called the rainbow cone. I think it's somewhere like in Chicago. I don't know. I saw Christy post a picture of it and it looked delicious with all these different flavors of ice cream in it. But look at it. The most beautiful peach sorbet with a very strong green shimmer, but then on my side and there's like a blue shimmer happening on my side. It's so pretty. And then she also added the hydrating base coat and I have never heard of a hydrating base coat until this year. Am I just missing out on everything? But I saw several at the different booths and I thought 
That's such a good idea. Is this new? Ooh, am I just behind on the times? Probably. I'm probably behind on the times. Um, but she included one of those, so I'm very excited to try that out. I definitely want to stop by the 1422 booth. Their Paris collection looked so pretty, and I knew I wasn't going to buy all of them because my plan was to not buy an entire collection from anyone. I don't think I did. Uh, but I definitely wanted their um, event exclusive. They had. So the event exclusive was from the Paris Olympics, but it's called Fan the Olympic Flame and it's purple and it has chameleon flakies in it. It's such a beautiful summery purple. I, well, any, any time of the year purple, but. And then from their What a Zoo collection, we have American Flamingo and this is just a neon coral like a pinky coral, there's gold shimmer, there's black micro flakies. Really pretty. So bright, so fun. Um, I of course stopped by the Glisten and Glow booth. Some really cute little cat paws to put on the end of your like cleanup brush. I bought this black one with a little little pink toe beans. And then I bought the orange one. Or did I buy the white one? Avery already took it, so I don't remember, but I think I bought the orange one. And they're just a little cute little cute little guys to put on your your cleanup brush end. What a cute oil pen. This is Jolly Rancher. What does this smell like? Oh yeah. I didn't even smell it. I just said yeah Jolly Rancher will be good. Stick up my nose. I didn't even have to twist it up and I could smell it. That smells amazing. And then I bought their event exclusive. That was, That's pretty much my plan when I don't have a plan. Buy the event exclusives. Buy the things that you can't easily purchase later. By the things that they're probably going to run out of. I can always order from the brands later and uh, most of these brands I'm very familiar with so I I know their polishes and the quality but the event exclusives are what I primarily wanted. So this is called Party at Portillo's. This is a blackened base with bronze, orange, green, gold multi-chrome in it. I, it doesn't look like any of that right now. Uh, Jess and I door dashed some Portillo's hot dogs and chicken fingers and onion rings while we got to our hotel because we were just like, do we want to go? Well, let's just door dash and then sit here. And then we watched hours of the American Cornhole League, which I did not know existed, but Jess wanted the TV on. I'm not like a TV on during the day kind of person. I don't ever turn the TV on. Sometimes I do, but I, the TV is just not, not on during the day. And she wanted to find something to watch and she was like scrolling through, she goes, American Cornhole League. And we were like, there's an American Cornhole League. Oh yeah. There's rules, there's teams, there's championships, there's sponsors, and they're all sponsored by the most backyard brands you can imagine. It was actually perfect, like Bush's Big Beans, Mike's Hard Lemonade. We were kind of watching it in disbelief at first, and then we started getting into it. And I was kind of getting the scoring down because it seems really confusing. And it doesn't matter, that's not what this video is about. Anyway, we door dashed Portillo's hot dogs, which were delicious. Why is the relish so green though? It was like St. Patrick's Day dyed green. Why is it so green? I don't, it could just be regular relish. But celery salt on a hot dog is so underrated. I've actually had a Chicago style hot dog before. This is a whole tangent, I'm sorry. I'll probably edit most of this out. For football, we make food themed by the opponent that we're playing each week. So when we play Chicago, we'd make Chicago style food, pizza, we've done the hot dogs or whatever. When we're playing Green Bay, we make like a hot dish or something, you know? It's trickier when we play the California teams because they're not like known for certain things. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we've made at home the Chicago style hot dogs before with the celery salt. And I just forgot how good it is. It was pretty good. Anyway, party for Geo's. Next, I went to Cleona because I have been lusting over their new eyeshadow palettes and I definitely wanted to see them in person. I did also buy one polish. This is called uh, New York Sour. It's from their Mixology collection and it's the most like fall color, but it's stunning. It's a deep bronze with a lot of gold like shift, shimmer. I'm not really sure. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love a brown nail polish so much. And then I did purchase one of the palettes. I absolutely wanted all three, but I did get one. I got the Oceano palette because the blues, you know, the blues were just calling my name. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh, 
this shade right here is not picking up like it oh gosh it's it's like a coral with a really strong golden shift i don't know oh my gosh and the seagrass color this is literally what dreams are made of i also really love this coral matte i can't think of a shade like that that i own anyways this looks really beautiful every year i wear my cleona stained glass eyeshadows to ppe because they've been there in some way shape or form every year either way but they were there the first year under the pam girly bits uh, she was a stockist for the brand and then last year they were there as their own booth and this year as well so every year i wear my cleona stained glass shades to ppe and now I have more Cleona shadows and I have never tried their mattes. I've never tried anything from the eyeshadows that they make other than the three stained glass shades that I own, which are perfect. All right, we have two from Rogue Lacquer. Again, I could have just purchased everything from Rogue Lacquer, but I didn't, I got two. So we have Summer Ween. This is the Halfway to the Holidays set, which I was really not about that. I, like, I am a summer girl. We are not trying to rush to the holidays so of course it was totally hypocritical of me to buy this palette it's an off-white curly base just absolutely packed with purple and gold and bronze and copper like ultra chrome flakies and something about the rogue flakies i don't know if she's using a different brand i don't know if she's just using a different quantity but the flakies that she puts in polishes look like they are actually illuminated i don't understand how she does it they are spectacular though and even in this white like off-white curly base these flakies look like they are actually illuminated next we have it's fine this was their doorbuster polish this perfect blue packed with huge ultra chrome chameleon flakies look at how big these flakies are they are massive it looks like straight up confetti oh so these two mattified Oh, I did also purchase a new cleanup brush from the Polish Beauty Expo table. The last two years they've been dual sided. This year they were just uno sided. And I only bought one because usually there is one in the VIP bag. And of course, because I only bought one, there was not this year, but that's fine. Um, I think you can get them from the, the website, but this is a nice angled cleanup brush. I had to stop at the Jen and Berry's booth. Jen is so sweet. She's so nice and I saw that she had posted that she had like unicorn pea shoes and then I forgot to even ask to look at them. Oh, I wanted to see unicorn pea shoes. I bought a couple from her table. She always does a lot of prototypes and she does them let's make a deal style so you can kind of make an offer. There's usually free minis like she does a lot of really great uh, like freebies or very low cost options like that. And then she has you know are they 10 foot tables or 8 foot tables? I feel like they're eight foot tables, 16 feet of nail polish. The first one that I purchased is actually from May, 2024. It's from the Crescent City Trio and it's called Geared Up and it's a violet purple. There's so much shifty pigment in here and I think there's little micro holographic flakies in here. It looks like it's a chrome polish. It looked so cool. I definitely needed that one. And then she has a food fight series and all of the names were just too good to pass up. So this is actually from chapter four in 2022. It's called Hardcorn Punk. And it's a corny, like a buttery corn yellow with red and gold flakies. And then she had a little tray of Oops polishes for the um, Feel and Kettle Corny color because I had picked up both of them and I said, okay, I don't need I don't need both of them and I could not decide and just said I mean I'd get the one with the flakies in it there's more in it and I agreed and then I saw the little tray that had this an oops price it was oh it was eight dollars and so I thought okay that's decided so this is a yellow with a green shifty shimmer we have two from Bo Revs one from her moonlit neon shimmer collection this is called lily pad all four of these it was just the prettiest color combination it was a cobalt blue a bright neon pink and then this color and then a like multi-chrome kind of grayish color and all four of them went together and it was the most beautiful combination i really wanted all of them but it's trying to be good so we have this color with a strong blue shimmer and then their pbe exclusive is called i'm on a boat 
and it's a turquoise, like a deep turquoise with green shimmer and a green chameleon red shimmer. Oh, and then a sticker. From Monarch Lacquer, I somehow purchased four. Um, this is called Smoke and Mirrors, and the other thing about this is the lighting in the convention center is the most perfect for showing off any sort of reflection, shimmer, um, chameleon shiftiness in your polish. It was perfect for that. So I'm not saying these polishes aren't beautiful, but the lighting definitely like, pushed me over the edge to think. So this is Smoke and Mirrors. I don't even know how to describe this. I think it's a gray base with a ton of what kind of shimmer is this? Green to red, it's orange to gold to green to blue. You can't see any of that. I don't know what kind of shimmer it is, but it's perfect. This is called Freeze Dance. This is a neon green with a violet shimmer and blue, like matte blue Leahy's. This is their uh, PPU Rewind shade for July. July is Rewind Month, which means the makers bring back fan voted shades for the month of polish pickup on their website um, and then also the ordering period for polish pickup but this is their rewind shade it's called belladonna i wish that you could see what it looks like to me because i'm seeing vibrant purple emerald green and then sapphire blue shifts and it's not looking like that at all oh my gosh and then their pbe exclusive is called a q cutie like q like a line and it's bright blue and it has pink glitter in it and i just love that combination i feel like that's a combination i don't i don't notice very often and we had dom nail polish they had a journey to japan collection which looked beautiful her display was really i mean all the displays are really nice but it was like somewhere arranged by color somewhere arranged by collection like it just i don't know her display was really nice this is called have a bite or 10 in osaka it's a bright orange it's looking very dark here it's a bright orange and there's a really vibrant yellowy gold shimmer and then also silver hollow micro flakies and it i just love this type of fiery orange color and then she had the polish and beauty expo exclusive is called totally possum this is a reflective and it looks like it's gonna be very fairly sheer but buildable with a ton of shifty shimmer and then of course the reflective glitter this like orange to red like red to orange to gold to green shimmer that is kind of everywhere right now is clearly leaving its mark in my life because i can't get enough of it okay and then she also had a little sticker that was in the bag and then i did not know she already put one of these in the bag but they were at the, the checkout so i grabbed one but I didn't know she already put one in there, the little soft touch clicky pens. So then I felt bad that I took two. I didn't need them. Okay, and then the last two brands are the brands that I purchased the most from. So I purchased six from each of these. The first would be by Dani Viana. I just, I'm a sucker for her polishes. They're so beautiful. I think all of these makers do such a beautiful job of creating these tiny pieces of art. I think that they do a great job. But for some reason, when I look at the pieces that By Dani Viana makes, like I, I see the art that it's inspired by. She does a lot, a lot of an art inspired pieces and I'm not like an art person at all, but I, I can like see it. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. The first one is called Princess Tiana and this is a reflective. I call this like celery green. I don't know if that's I don't know what it's actually called, but I call it like a celery green. There's gold glitters, there's flakies, there's a some type of violet shift in this. And then of course, reflective glitter. I can't think of a nail polish that I have that looks anything like that because I don't really gravitate towards that type of green. So I thought that was really cool. This one is called Pissarro, another green, uh, and then also is reflective. That's what this little sticker means. Loaded with uh, shifty flakies, chameleon flakies, bronze, a coppery flake. That's gonna be gorgeous. We have Impressions of Sunrise. This is a really interesting color. It's a dark, like I would call this a dark teal, 
and there's yellow circle glitters in it. Manian Flakies. This is such an interesting looking combination of colors and like, I don't want to say textures, but I guess glitter shape. I just, glitter shapes. I just thought this looked really cool and definitely like something that I don't have over and over because I buy the same polishes over and over. Next we have Them Apples and this is gold with green and red and white. So like it kind of looks like it could be Christmassy, but it's not supposed to be Christmassy. It's just supposed to be beautiful. And it is. The event exclusive was called Titanic. And this is a dark blue with silver, like the size of the flakies. Like there's some really big ones in there and then smaller ones. Of a chonky flaky, you know. And then there's also a gifted purchase, which is called uh, Mondrian. And this is a white crelly with yellow, blue, red, black, assorted glitter shapes and size. Old school indie crelly. And then there's also, these are her little swatch palettes that she was giving away. They look like a painter's palette. So cute. I kind of don't even want to use it because I don't want to wreck it. And then lastly, we have Danglefoot. I was very excited to see them. I love their nail polishes. Um, at the table, at the meet and greet, they had a bunch of stickers, uh, so I grabbed the CPR certified Dwight, Dwight K. Schrute sticker. <laughs> and they had Marmite, and I've never tried Marmite. And uh, I thought it was pretty good. It was really salty. I feel like it'd be a delicious, like, soup base, or added to a, like, if you put, a, like, a little bit on, a little bit with, like, mustard or mayo on a ham and cheese sandwich. That'd be delicious. Um, so I purchased six from them. This is their Polish Pickup Rewind for July. This is called Turn to Stone. I don't know what the inspiration is, but does it matter? Look at how perfect this is. Their Door Roaster Polish is called um, Pepperwood Chronicles, which is a Nick Miller reference from New Girl because he's from Chicago. And I love Nick Miller. He's the best character on New Girl. And I also loved this polish. It looked more brown earlier but it's kind of a reddish brown holographic with different um like chameleon shimmer and then they had a a collection of six polishes i think that were british sayings that they were introducing to introduce at pbe i purchased four so we have cheers mate this orangey peach with reflective glitter and like it looks purple. Like the shimmer is purple when I'm looking at it, but it looks gold to you. Uh, totally gobsmacked. Oh, you can see that. Definitely see the reflective there. I don't. I don't even know how to describe these. There's so much shimmer and like shifting is happening. I can't tell what the the main thing is. I want to say it's like a lavender, and then it's just shoved full of all of that shiftiness. We have in a bit of a pickle, which is kind of a similar base, a little more pinky with the reflective glitter and that green to red to gold shimmer. And then the last one is called Bottle of Wa'a. <laughs> and this is a blue holographic nail polish. And they were also giving away snacks uh, with their purchase. So I got um, Yorkshire Tea Digestives, a little thing of Marmite. Oh, and uh, they were giving away chocolates. This is a wisp. Oh, wispa. Uh, I had something else, but we ate it already. I think it was a Cadbury. Mm. Mm. It's like crumbly. I wish I had needed that because now I want more. Okay, so that is everything that I purchased at the Polish and Beauty Expo in July of 2024. I have a lot of polish to swatch. I had no untrieds except for, I actually purchased some polishes from Lacquer 22 back there a couple weeks ago that I haven't swatched yet because it's summer and I've done nothing. But right now I've been filming for 40 minutes, so hopefully this isn't actually a 40 minute video. And I can edit this down to a reasonable watch time. As I mentioned, there will be videos coming with all of the swatches. I will probably do dedicated videos per brand as long as I have like at least three polishes. I kind of want to do, what should I do? Should I do all of the VIP swatches in one video? That's going to be a long video though. But I don't want to wait to swatch the VIP polishes with the brand. Maybe I will. I think that's what I did last year. I might have to do that because that will be too much polish to put in one video for swatches. Hope you guys enjoyed this. 
if you attended PBE and you're planning on posting a video, please let me know so I can go watch your haul. Make sure I didn't miss anything, you know. Hope you're ready for some swatches and some nail polish content. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.